Hey guys, welcome to Quick Tip Tuesday. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the mobile trigger menu on Cadence using a simple plugin, some custom coding, and the free simple icons from Icon Monster. So I'm gonna be doing this on my own website, and this is the result that we are going to get at the end. So we're going to get this awesome trigger button. So let's just have a look at the moment at what it's looking like on my website. So you can see I've got this simple, basic trigger icon that comes standard with every Cadence installation. Okay, so first thing to do is to install a plugin that allows you to add snippets of code to your website. So we're going to head to our plugins and we're going to add in a plugin. So we're going to come here to plugins on the left hand side. We're going to click on add new and in search plugins, we're going to type in snippets and then we're going to click enter. Once that loads, we're going to install this WP code, install that now. That allows us to add code snippets. So once it has installed, then we will just click activate. Once it has been activated, you will see code snippets here on the left hand side. So you're going to go ahead and you are going to click add snippet. Then what you're going to do is you're going to add your own custom code. So we're going to use the snippet file here. We're going to give our snippet a title. So let's give it custom mobile menu trigger icon. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use this handy blog post that Cadence has done in their support knowledge, their knowledge base. And basically what it is, is just teaching you how to change a theme icon to something custom. So there is this custom um, coding here. So we're just going to copy that and then we're going to paste it in here. And then the code type up here, we're going to change that to PHP snippet. Now we're going to make some changes to this coding to ensure that it is showing the right SVG icon and that it is changing the menu icon on our mobile device. So we're going to change this where it says cart. We're going to change that to menu. And then we're going to change this here where it says function. We're going to change that to menu. So make sure that whatever you name this is the same as this at the top. And then the if statement is just going to look and see if it is the menu icon. And then it's going to show us this SVG file. Now this is where we are going to go into icon monster. So icon monster it is a free tool where you can get over 4,500 free icons. There's 316 collections for you to choose from. So we're going to go here and we're going to type in menu. We're going to click enter. That's then going to bring up a whole bunch of different menu icons that we can use. So I'm going to go for this one here. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click I agree to the license agreement and I'm going to click embedded. OK, so once I have clicked embedded, I am going to copy this and then I'm going to come back to my website and then I'm going to just press enter here and I am going to paste it underneath. Now this part here is where we're going to add some additions to ensure that when you go to appearance and go to customize and you start changing the color of the icon and you change the size that it pulls through. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to delete all of this here from the SVG that we copied from uh, Icon Monster. We're going to make sure the view box is right. We're going to make sure that is fine. And we're just going to change the width and the height to 24. So we'll paste that in. We're then going to delete this. And then what we are going to do is we're just going to add in a bit more coding just to make sure those colors pull through and the sizing. So to enable it to pull through the right color, we just going to type in here full and then we're going to put equal and then we're going to put current color and then we are going to give it the same class that cadence has so we're going to say class equals and if you want to know where i got this coding this css from i got it directly from cadence so if we look at my website i've just done the inspect element tool and i've come here and i've got this class from here the other thing you want to add in is the span beforehand so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to come up here and I'm going to just type in span class equals and then add that in there. And the reason I'm going to do that is just simply so that when I change the sizing of my icon in appearance customize, it changes. OK, so next thing we want to do is just scroll down, come to location, click on this box, click on front end only. And then we're going to make this an active snippet and then we're going to save our snippet. OK, so I have WordFence installed, so I'm just going to tick this box and allow this action. And then I'm going to click refresh and continue. OK, so let me just update this again to make sure that it has saved. And then I'm going to go to my website and just check that it is working correctly. So let's just make this a bit bigger. 
and click refresh and there we go so i can see that it's a bit small so to change it i'm going to come to my customizer and then i'm just going to go into my header builder go down to tablet mobile click on the trigger and i'm going to come to the design and then i'm going to go to the icon sizing and make it a tad bit bigger i'm going to make it 30 and wait, 30 and then i'm going to change this trigger color to make it orange I think that looks better and then maybe this color once they have clicked on it and hovered over it so that is how you change the mobile trigger icon in cadence uh, using a plugin some simple coding and icon monster so if you like this tuesday quick tip then be sure to subscribe to my channel and watch these other videos that i've created all about using cadence and getting confidence with these tools